Warning. All displays of negativity will be deliciously repackaged and properly returned to sender. Only good vibes allowed beyond this point. Now if you're ready, come on in. Champagne gang, fizz fam, confidants, welcome to Sip, Savor, and Spill, where we dish out the juiciest gossip with a twist of empowerment and a dash of charm. So listen, today we're sipping on a story that's a bit bittersweet, but oh so important. We're talking about this lady on TikTok who went viral by stating, I know I'm ugly, I'll never be beautiful, so people don't have to keep telling me that. And after we have this quick shot of empowerment, we're going to get into it. So scoot up for a second and raise those glasses high. You know what time it is. Embrace your uniqueness and proudly declare with me, I am who I am, confidently me, and unapologetically authentic. Let's toast. So I was on Instagram, right? And I ran across this video. So I'm going to play it really quick because I want you to check it out. Then we're going to come right back and talk about it. You guys are right. I am ugly. I finally come to realize that. The only person in the world that said that I was beautiful was my mother. I never forget it. I was young. And she said, I know y'all think my daughter's ugly, but my daughter is beautiful. I get inboxes from black men that says I'm ugly for a black woman. I was with a woman for 14 years. Tell her every day she was beautiful. She never said once I was beautiful. Not even my dad. My dad said I look nice. So I come to accept the fact that I'm ugly and I never will be beautiful. That's why when the girls talk to me, they don't even like sleeping with me. I mean, I see the look on their faces. Even when I try to walk up to them, they'll give me this look. I know I'm ugly. I accept the fact that I'm ugly. Dad, you don't want nobody like me. You like those pretty stuff. Pretty like, I get that. I'm ugly. And I accept that. So I'm not going to lie and say I'm fabulous to go because I'm not that. I'm not that. I would never be that. Like I said, the only person in the world that told me I was beautiful is my mother. You guys never said that. And the thing about it is, you guys are lucky. You got people walking to you, damn, you fine, you go. I'll never get that. I'll never get that, I never will. I'm an ugly black woman, and I accept that. Take care. You know the problem with this. So many people feel this way. They do. I even went through my own bout of feeling like I wasn't pretty. I did. I actually discussed it on last night in a live that I did for our Wellness Waves Wednesdays. So for all of my confidants, if I have any confidants or visitors who happen to find yourself feeling like this young lady, why don't you go ahead and jump into the Wellness Waves Wednesdays and check out our series that we have going on called Escaping the Heartbreak Hotel that deals with subjects such as these. But I never thought that I was ugly. But this was something that I struggled with because I didn't think I was pretty. And it's something that a lot of people struggle with. And it doesn't matter how many times you tell a person that they're beautiful. Baby, until they see it, it'll just be pretty words. They may smile, but they don't internalize it. We have created this narrative for the world of what beauty is, right? We created this narrative and we force others to live in it. And because we created this narrative, we have individuals who struggle with their individuality and their uniqueness who start questioning their worth, their value, and their appeal based on what they see and what others Mm -hmm. Then you have people like Saucy Santana over stuffed ass telling people that women ain't it without a 30 inch bust down or triple BBL. And because this is such a social media centered society, people are feeding off and internalizing what they see and what they hear. This is what happens when you allow someone else to determine your beauty. So right now I need all of my bottle boys and bottle girls to scoot up for a second. I'm going to talk to her, but I'm also talking to you, especially if you're feeling like her, because we can't have that in the Champagne City, baby. No, we're empowerment and self-love over here. Hey, you over there with that beautiful skin and those big sparkling eyes. Don't you know there are girls who wish they had your eyes and skin? 
Did you ever stop to think that the reason most of them wear so much makeup is to cover up their flaws and insecurity? Because it never takes 12 pounds of foundation, 5 pounds of lashes, and 4 pounds of concealer to enhance a look. It doesn't. They wear that to cover up their looks or they will be just as insecure as you. God created you. Don't you ever let someone who didn't create you invalidate you. Baby, off with those hoes heads. I think a gap is cute, just like I think freckles are cute. Just like I think two different color eyes are cute. It's your perceived flaws that make you stand out from everyone else. Did you ever stop to think that maybe they're as insecure as you are? Because security doesn't have to tear down to be secure. You know security when it walks in a room. True queens fix crowns. They don't damage them. The world will try to tell you what beauty looks like. But only you get to decide what makes you shine. From the crown of your head to the bend in your feet. Every inch of you is a celebration of uniqueness. Now baby, that's the real champagne secret. No one can define your beauty but you. Hold up now. Let's take a moment to savor that. You are an artist, baby. Paint your masterpiece. Honey, we're here to flip the script because you, yes, you are a masterpiece. And it's time that you own that. Picture this, love. You're standing in front of a mirror. What do you see beyond the surface? Because we're so surface level, but the true you isn't on the outside. So why subject yourself to inner turmoil based on what a broken butterfly who cut their way out the cocoon had to say? There's a soul that sparkles in there, a heart that loves fiercely, and a spirit that's unbreakable. That's why you're still here. From the twinkle in your eyes to the curve of your lips, you are pure magic. Own it. So now I need all of y'all to say it with me now. I love myself from the color of my skin to the thickness of my waist. I embrace my beauty, my handsomeness, from the twinkle in my eyes to the curve of my lips. Every part of me tells a story, a story of resilience, strength, and a worth that's far above rubies. Listen, when you choose to see your own beauty, you take back the power that others tried to snatch from you. Don't let anyone dim your sparkle. Shine bright because the world needs to see your light. Love yourself fiercely because you deserve nothing less. Let's dive deeper, shall we? Think about the times when you felt your lowest, when you let others' words seep into your soul and define your worth. It was tough, right? But here's the twist. Every challenge you face, every hurtful word that is thrown your way, every bit of negativity that is launched at you is an opportunity to build your inner strength. Take a cue from the most fabulous diamonds. They're formed under pressure, emerging with brilliance that captivates everyone. You, my dear, are no different. Each time someone tries to dull your shine, remember you're a diamond in the making. Let their words be the pressure that polishes you into something even more breathtaking. I need you to remember this. When a diamond feels like it's lost its luster, it doesn't change itself, it changes its setting. So maybe the problem is that you need to change your setting so that you can resume your shine. Here's a little something that I love to share. A little quick tip to help you on your self-love journey. Every morning, I need you to look in the mirror and give yourself three compliments. Start with something simple. I love the sparkle in my eyes. I love my smile. I love the way my smile lights up a room. I love the pudginess of my nose. It's mine. Affirm yourself. Then move to deeper affirmation. I am strong. I am worthy of love and respect. Finish with a powerful declaration. I fearlessly forge my path, sculpting my reality with unwavering belief, exuding confidence, and channeling focused determination. You better love yourself because nobody should be able to love you harder than you love you. Because when you feel love, you give love. That's why people are so negative and hateful. That's why they spit venomous and spiteful words. You can't give what you don't have. And you can't have what you never receive. Girls weren't into Lil Wayne because he was fine. They were into him because he had swag. He had confidence. Turn your confidence up. I never thought Denzel was fine. He exuded confidence. And that confidence brought sex appeal. So my beautiful champagne gang. Fizz fam. Remember this. Beauty isn't about fitting into a mold. It's about breaking free and loving yourself unapologetically. Sip on that self-love. Savor every moment of self-acceptance. And spill your fabulousness everywhere you go. 
So, my beautiful champagne gang, that's all I have for this one. But really, it is really time for us to start loving ourselves. Because when we truly begin to love ourselves, we'll stop attracting things to us that do not reflect that love. I am proud to say we are up to 368 subscribers. So that means we are 632 away from a thousand. Yes. Thank you so much for everyone who's liked, everyone who's subscribed, everyone who's commented to help me get monetized. We are up to 2,000 watch hours. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And that is 2,000 of the 4,000 that are needed. So I'm asking all my subscribers to go on a binge watch <laughs> and just start binge watching my videos if you love them. Because I'm really ready to do some things with my confidants, like offering one-on-one -on -one with the coach to my members on. So y'all help me get monetized, please. <laughs> if you want to send some love to the channel, please hit the channel at Cash App, send some fizzles as we call it over here hit that like and subscribe button hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when we jump in whichever section we jump into for another show thank you for tuning in for a sip savor and spill until next time stay fabulous stay fierce and stay true and always remember it doesn't cause you to elevate it's causing you to depreciate now raise those glasses clink and let's drink till we meet again ta-ta